Happy Monday everyone, hoping you're having a great day. I'm going to have a video tutorial today about Lightroom and using the spot removal. Um, and that is going to be using the heal versus clone mode, explaining to you what the difference is and what it can do for you. So if you're in develop module, if you're up here at the right, make sure that you're not in library, but you're in the develop module. You're going to see your histogram. If you don't see that, just your little drop down arrow will show it, show it to you. If you'll go over here, right under your histogram, you'll see a couple little buttons through here. And we're going to use the second one. This is your spot removal. It'll have a drop down box once you hit it. And now we're going to have our brush kind of clone and heal. I'm going to step you through a little bit of the difference and um, hopefully this will help you in your editing. Um, this is just kind of a simple little removal of a spot. So nothing major, not anything um, large, just something small. Um, and as if you'll see, this is a image I shot this past weekend of an adorable family and I had an absolute blast with. You'll see in the right hand corner of this little leaf. Sorry, but it just bugs me because your eye naturally just goes straight to that little brown spot because there's no other brown spots. Hence, there's no other leaves. So I'm going to just get rid of that quickly and easily using Lightroom. I'm going to show you how you can do it either with clone or heal. I gener generally prefer heal just because what heal is going to do is going to take um, from your surrounding area and it's going to just kind of heal it. It's going to take the same pixels from the surrounding area, but it's going to hopefully grab something that's of the same tones, darknesses, that kind of thing. So let me go ahead and show you what the heel is going to do. Um, right here in the size, if you'll notice, I can choose to have my size of my spot rule very, very large or so minute that you can't even see it. I'm going to go just middle ground um, and I'm probably going to just click it twice, a little bit larger, there we go. And I'm going to just click on with my brush what I want is that I want to remove. Notice it's going to grab what it thinks is closest to it. Obviously mom's sweater is not. I'm going to go up here and grab this circle and move it over and let's see what it grabs for me and that's much closer. Noticing the left of this leaf is not gone so I'm going to simply click again on that leaf. It's going to grab what it thinks is close to it. I'm going to grab that circle, bring it back over closer to where um, I am here in the grass. I'm going to close that and ta-da, you can't even tell there was a leaf there. All right, let's go ahead and undo that. I have a max, I'm com pressing Command Z. And I'm gonna undo that twice so we can fully see. All right, now let me go back to this clone tool and let's see what clone does. Clone, let's pick something drastic, mom sweater. It's gonna pick exactly those pixels. Whereas the heel, if we go to mom's sweater again, it's going to try to just kind of say, okay, I don't think that's the same, but I'll do the best of its ability. Still not what I want. So generally, heal is the one you want to use. So again, I'm going to press heal. I'm going to go down and click on the spot that I want removed. Drag that circle to where I feel like it would be better fit of color and contrast. And then right there, see that time? It grabbed perfectly for me. Close it and I'm done. And that would be my image now that I can go in and edit because this edit this image has not been edited at all. Hope that's been a great help to you. Um, it's a great tool to use in Lightroom for a quick little spot removal. Have a great day.